Hello, I'm sorry, it's been such a long time, but look at me, I am wrecked. Just been on the roof for a week, blah, 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 lots of things, too many things. Uh, and I'm very backed up with videos, so I am slowly working my way through the backlog. The first video I wanted to share um, is about a project which we've been working on for, I guess, about nine months now, which is the Willow Bed uh, sewage treatment system which we're going to have here uh, on the farm and it has been yeah it's been about nine months since we first started digging the first bit and i thought i would walk you through basically how it's going to work and what we've done so far which is kind of we've pretty much set it up now uh, we haven't actually activated it yet but um, fingers crossed it's going to work well one caveat i would say is this is definitely not an instructional video um, we uh, we paid an expert uh, to design this for us and to oversee it I think if you attempted something like this without knowing what you were doing it could go extremely disastrously wrong <laughs> um, yeah I would uh, definitely recommend getting someone to help with it um, I can put a link to his website in the description below um, and uh, yeah, get in touch. He's a he's a good guy. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and uh, yeah, I will show you what we've been up to. Yeah, this is a long time ago. Uh, the twins still had long hair. The big digger arrived, and um, yeah, the idea was that we basically had this area at the bottom of the garden, which was kind of like a swamp. And in the summer, it was kind of okay, like a bit of a mosquito hotel. But uh, in the winter, it was just like a bog. So we thought we would dig out half of that area to create a pond. And we would pile up the earth that we dug out to create a dry raised area to build the willow bed in. Maybe I should do a quick sketch for those of you who don't know even what a willow bed is. I didn't know what it was before we got introduced to this guy. So um, yeah, I'm going to do a quick, very bad sketch just to explain. So here is a uh, here is a, the rough bones of a willow bed. Uh, basically, you have uh, a pipe in where all the poo comes in from the uh, house or wherever. And it goes into a pump well, which is basically a, a big uh, well in the ground. And when this poo fills up or whatever it is, it goes over into this side where it gets minced up by a, uh, a kind of blender pump thing. And it gets pumped along this pipe where it gets spread out into a big lined tank. I mean, this tank is all lined with plastic all around the edge. So nothing can get out. And it's a layer of soil and sand and soil. And basically all the poo and everything filters down into the soil like that. It then works its way back up through the roots and grows into beautiful willow bushes, which uh, can then be chopped down every year. And uh, you get, I think it's 16 tons per hectare of uh, of willow which you can use to compost or you can chip it up and put it in the ground or you can uh, burn it to heat your home or I mean you can make baskets out of it you can do a lot of things but it's pretty cool you're basically turning your poo into uh, a really cool useful resource anyway that's the rough idea like I said I'm not an expert if you want to know more then uh, contact Pedder who's in the link down below that eating alive down here. So anyway, this enormous digger trundled across our land. We were very excited to uh, see what it found. I mean, we thought it might sink into the bog actually, but it didn't. You can see how uh, how shallow the uh, the groundwater is there it was just about a meter below the surface and it just started filling up just from the land really fast so yeah that's all the pipes which 
form the willow bed structure you know there's a structure to it it's it's complicated i don't really want to talk too much in the video about how it works because i don't really know uh as well as i should do or well as or as well as one would need to this was the um the sand the kind of filtration sand which forms one of the layers in the willow bed the roof's getting a bit wet but that's okay but more importantly we're out here laying down the liner for the willow bed So yeah, you can see how big this thing was. I think it's 42 meters, 44 meters by eight meters wide. Okay, there we go. Yeah, go, yeah. Does it roll all the way to the end on its own? Oh, no. <laughs> Equally as important. So there you go. It's basically like a giant poo swimming pool filled with soil and willow trees. 600 willow trees, in fact, is what we, uh, what we have in there. And then more geotextile on top to protect the liner even more, not taking any chances. The last bit. And look at that pond. It's just so cool. We got a pond out of the, out of the deal we as well. So that was that. Then he started filling it in again. So first all the soil, nice big layer of soil. This is uh, some sort of porous pipe. And there's Felix digging the, uh, it's like a welded pipe uh, fixture onto the side of the, the liner. And then all of a sudden another digger appeared, which was uh, putting the sand in. So there you can see the sand layer going in. It starts to look like some kind of sci-fi, like oxygen harvesting base on the moon or something like that. Pretty cool. Okay, so here we were basically putting in the distribution boxes, which sends the poo out across the, uh, the entire willow bed and drops it down into these specific spots, which then filters down into the roots of the willow trees. All right, that's the end of day two, I suppose. I think I understand how this works now. like the roots are so long that you can't get them out. And so here's Elsa planting the 640 willow trees. And there are the twins swimming in the pond. Elsa, that's dead, isn't it? No, it's got... Oh, okay. Is that not just a weed? It's a weed. No, it's... 
growing out of the soil, not out of the... So then fast forward nine months, this was a couple of weeks ago, we finally started digging the drains from the barns and from the house and from the studio. Uh, I will cut now to a plan. On this map, uh, the willow bed is actually down there, but we have studio uh, we have two bits from the barn uh, we have the house and we have the gatehouse and um, we already we already laid pipe from the gatehouse to the septic tank outside the house uh, so that's basically there there's a septic tank which is being used currently but what we did this time was lay a new pipe down to a big pump well here from there down to there from there to there and then from here another pump well here with a long pipe going all the way here and then from here all the way down to the willow bed so yeah quite a lot of drains. All right, all righty. So we uh, are making good progress on the drains. I've got a bloody cold, which is annoying, but it's going well, it's a beautiful day. So, yeah, we've got the drains coming from both bits of the barn here, well, two of the three bits of the barn, coming down here. Arna is now digging the massive hole for the, uh, the giant blue tank, which is going to go in the ground here. Eventually, we'll also fed through this septic tank without using the septic tank so down to the blue tank there and uh, me and Felix just dug a little trench here for possibly the most important element of this project uh, the internet running from the house alongside the blue and then it's going to go back up this trench into the barn there So this was the uh, the huge long one going right round to the other side of the the big barn 
which is just for the studio toilet. So just musicians poos basically, which, uh, which I guess uh, could be considered more hazardous than normal poos on average. Elvin, oi! <laughs> so this is down by the uh, by the willow bed. Finally connecting up this pipe, which has been sticking out for nine months. All right, we are now filling in all the poo pipes. But we just had one thought. This is where the tree house is gonna go. It's gonna be up in this gap here between these three trees, those two, those two there, and this one. It's gonna be a nice big tree house. And we just thought, we, because we've got water and electricity going up to the tree house, which then continues off down to the sauna, which is gonna be down there somewhere. But we just thought, why don't we have a flushing toilet in the tree house? So you can sit, take a shit, and look across the fields in the treehouse. It's going to be great. So yeah, there you go. Uh, it's starting to feel pretty civilized, actually. And um, it's good to have pretty much finished the groundworks that we needed to do. Um, yeah, what can I say? It was a lot of work, but hopefully it's going to be really cool and just work effortlessly and... Uh, yeah, we'll get a load of willow out of it and all of our poo will magically disappear. So, thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, I will see you very soon with another video. Look after each other. Goodbye. <laughs>